Here we are at Beaver Lake Campground, Site 59. I think we got the best site in the campground. Got a spot there that's kind of close in addition to the one to my left. But it's been a pleasant stay here at Beaver Lake Campground. Um, it's been quiet, and I like that in the campground. Here's the van we've been camping in. Uh, it's done very well on our tour out west in South Dakota and Wyoming and Missouri. And it's our main channel right there. But uh, we really love camping in our van. Uh, it's just so easy from getting from one place to the other, especially with gas prices like they are. But inside the van, again, there's my, uh, right there is our portable air conditioner. That thing has been so handy out here. Um, we cracked the driver's side window over there and vent the air out, and it's kept us cool at night. Of course, you have to have power hookup for that. Um, I suppose you could use a small generator for that. We don't have a generator. But this box right here is where I keep my refrigerator. And there's our refrigerator. It's a glorified cooler, but uh, it runs off the Jackery. We charged the Jackery while we're driving down the road. That Jackery lasts forever. It's done very well for us. Right there, you can see the temperature. Yeah, that's what it holds. It does very well for us. Uh, we keep our stuff in here that we don't want to go bad, like lunch meat. Stuff that will go that will go bad. We'll, we'll, we do keep in the refrigerator there. Here's our little nut stand. Um, this is where we charge all of our devices overnight. As you can see, she's got a computer on it right now. But uh, the jacker is right down here. And again, we charge it as we uh, drive up and down the road. Doing it, uh, it's a, we use a cigarette lighter plug-in for it. Uh, we do have uh, 200 watts of solar that we could use to charge the Jackery, but we move around so much that we find it's just easier to charge our Jackery driving up down the road. We do a lot of driving, exploring whatever location we're at. Right there's our, our bed. Um, sleep side to side. And right over there, the blue bucket is our pee bucket. <laughs> I tell everybody all the time I use the pee bucket at night because uh, throughout the night I will have to pee once or twice and um, opening and closing these doors on this van uh, are, are loud and um, so we, we don't have a bathroom in the van so I have to use the pee bucket or walk up to the, uh, the restrooms here at the campground so I just use the pee bucket and I'm not disturbing my neighbors by opening and closing these van doors because the, it will disturb them no doubt about that around the back here this is our storage and um, uh, we keep things in here that we want to go with us everywhere we go uh, uh, stuff that we don't want to leave at the campground uh, so when we're on our little adventures out and about we take all this stuff with us because we always take backpacks with us everywhere we go. That's one of the hardest lessons we learn is take a backpack everywhere you go because when you go on these little adventures, you're going to want to um, uh, be able to carry water with you. If you hike like we do anyway, there's a different view of our bed. Our gazelle sitting off down by the hillside. Um, perfect little spot for our gazelle. We have discovered that we like to um, take a cooler with us everywhere we go. And we just put cold drinks in the cooler because it doesn't matter if they get a little hot. Uh, we try to keep ice in it and it stays very cool for the most part. But um, we, we keep our sodas in here that we don't take up so much room in our, um, in our little refrigerator because the refrigerator is needed for um, sandwich meat and food that you don't need to go bad. And here's our bicycles. Uh, we're able to fit the bicycles inside the van where they're um, uh, protected from the weather. And these bicycles have been, have been very fun on this trip. Um, we did the Mickelson bike trail yesterday. We drove, we rode 
14 miles of the trail one way then 14 miles back and uh, on the on the way out it was eight miles uphill almost eight miles of the 14 miles one way was uphill <laughs> so it was um it was not a uh, steep grade just a gradual grade it was an old railroad tracks what it was so on the way back we coasted downhill um, what well, turned out to be seven and a half miles we didn't have to pedal for seven and a half miles so it was really fun uh, of course it took everything we had to drive that it was a total of 28 miles we were wore out uh, actually my legs cramped up on me um, in my sleep uh, last night after the bike ride just a different view of the campground is like I said it's been a very very pleasant stay here at Beaver Lake so inside the gazelle the gazelle we love the gazelle it's got some little light and going around the base so the gazelle is used to unclutter our van. We put everything in here that it's gonna stay at the campground. We're not, we don't want to haul it with us everywhere we go on our little adventures. But we always set up a table. We got two panels up, panel there, panel there, to give us a little bit of privacy. Uh, so kind of block the wind, but um, uh, we we do absolutely love this gazelle. Uh, get inside the weather. Uh, it protects our bikes from the rain. It has rained a couple times since we've been here, so it's protected our bikes from the rain. Uh, and it's just a place to stretch out and lounge. You get out of the sun sometimes. As you can see, we got a a nice view out there. That is Beaver Lake. Uh, we do not have access to that lake. <laughs> it's private property, I reckon. And here is our stargazing chairs that I built. Um, I built those about a year and a half ago. Um, we actually got a video on how we built those on our other channel, Simple Life Big Adventures. <laughs> Um, they're very handy they're not very comfortable but uh, they're fun to have and um, uh, uh, we've used them a whole lot and they're fun to sit around the campfire or you know stargaze we haven't done zero stargazing while out west here uh, it, you know there's zero light pollution out here and we want to take advantage of that and uh, do some stargazing but we have not done any uh, because we've been so tired after hiking every single day. I mean, we've been very active while we've been out west here. There's our little pop-up trash can. Just insert a, uh, <laughs> it collapses down to nothing. But, um, it's very useful because, um, once we hit the road, we'll collapse it down. It don't take up any room at all. Just, um, it's got, a, it's spring-loaded. I have discovered that while out camping that I may want a cot and or a, um, a hammock uh, just so I can come out here and relax because you know after you've been hiking and everything sometimes you want sometimes you don't, don't want to get inside of the van often the van is sitting out in the sun it's very hot so um, I just want a cot or a hammock or both just so I can just lounge around and relax after a hard day of hiking so that's some changes um, we're gonna make to our camping style some additions that we need to make fire pit is actually in the ground uh, they've had some bad fires out out here a couple years ago so I imagine that is to make sure that fires don't get out of control and it also helps keep it down to a small size. That's only a probably 18 inches diameter right there. It's not very big. But it has been a very pleasant stay here at Custer, South Dakota.